What's up everybody, it's Prodigy3030 and I'm bringing you guys my first uh, video on this channel and I'm starting out with NBA 2K13 my team um, I believe in this video I'm in the 6th round and this is my first Xbox 360 video so if you think the quality looks off or anything please let me know because I can change the video settings on the Elgato Game Capture HD and first off my team, the starters are Ty Lawson at point guard Andre Iguodala at shooting guard, Michael Kidd Gilchrist at small forward, Kenneth Freed at power forward, and JaVale McGee at center. Um, start off with Ty Lawson, he's got a deadly step back that I'm good with. And then also JaVale McGee, he was cheap when I bought him. I believe he was only like 2000 VC. And he's just really good at getting offensive rebounds. I'd pick him up if I were you guys. And I love getting alley-oops on the break. Iguodala and G Kid Gilchrist are two great players for that to have. And so, right off the bat, I started off beating him. And I punish him with Andre Iguodala on the fast break. No matter what, he's going to finish with a dunk. I can't really stop that. But this shot right here, the f that fadeaway with J.R. Smith, he did that a lot and just kept getting really annoying. He it went, in, went in almost every single time. But again, Andre Iguodala goes up for the dunk. But he can't finish it that time. Would have been a great dunk. But he just couldn't finish it. And he makes the first free throw. But did not make the second. So I didn't show it. And right here. I just use good passing to get around his defense. And I get right into the middle. For a wide open dunk. And then right here. He's just not paying attention. And I end up getting a dunk with Ty Lawson. Who I believe is only 5 foot 11. So when you get dunked on by someone like that. Besides Nate Robinson. It's kind of sad. And then Kenneth Fareed with his great rebounding abilities. You just can't. You got to box him out no matter what. And then he tried to do the shot again and almost made it. It was close. But it wasn't with J.R. Smith. And so I was just crushing him by the start of the second quarter. And I bought Jared Bayless to do just that. He's a great shooter. I just wanted to be able to get some good shots in with him. And Terrence Ross used to be the star of my team, but he got replaced. And just again, Bayless does it again. And I've got Iguodala on J.R. Smith because he's a great perimeter defender. But still, he gets that fadeaway shot to go in. And I'm just bringing up the court with Ty Lawson. And he's too slow. And I try to do a little bit of the same, and it works. It's not the exact same, but it's pretty similar. It's nice to give people their own medicine, taste their own medicine. And then Andre Iguodala, I tried to get a lot of ISOs with him because I like to try to get dunks, but I couldn't get the ISO, but Kid Gilchrist gets that. And this is just like the worst play, sloppiest play in 2K history. So I fumble it a bunch of times, and he brings it back and fumbles it. <laughs> and everyone just kept losing it. And then he ends up missing the three, and then ends, the play finally ends. Both of those plays finally ended with a foul. It took long enough. I just felt like I had to put that in there. And Terrence Ross, he won the dunk contest. But, oh, sorry if you guys haven't seen that yet. Two months ago, three months ago, but, oh well. But he gets it stripped and Bayless gets the buzzer beater before the half. And Iguodala posterizes, I believe JaVale McKee was down there. Didn't, and he gets the foul and the and one, excellent. A plus release free throw and at this point I'm still crushing him and he's trying to shoot the threes but I've tailored my defense to be able to stop the threes once in a while people are able to get through but most of the time I stop them and Fareed gets the basket and finishes and also sorry if the game plays a little bit laggy but there's nothing I could really do about that and you see Iguodala takes it to the, d the hole again and I had to rewind it and show that part just to show it off to him and eventually he started pausing it on three pointers and it, it's a little bit annoying but I just played through it and JaVale McGee can actually shoot jump shots I've learned I take about one jump shot a game with him and he makes it most of the time misses it once in a while and I get the acrobatic layup with Ty Lawson it was a great layup great to see that and I've got Harrison Barnes. He used to also be a star on my team, but he was also replaced. And Bayless gets another wide open shot. And 
his jump shot's a little bit hard to get down, but if you can get it down, it's pretty good most of the time. I would suggest buying him. He was, I believe, 2000 when I bought him. Right now, I'm not sure what he is. And I'm trying to get the fast break started with Iguodala. But I get the ball stripped. That animation happens a lot and ends up losing it. But you see Barnes, Harrison Barnes, household name of 2K, my team, gets the dunk. And I'm trying to come back with Iguodala and get another dunk. But I just took it back and took the jump shot instead. And he also has a good release, a good jump shot. If he's open, he'll usually make it. And right here, I was just punishing him with the three to go on the fast break. He was starting to catch up, and I was actually getting a little bit worried at this point because of the three-point shooting. So I just leave most of the end of the game when it gets close like this. And Keith Bogans is one of those players that you got to watch out for on the three. Because he'll do just that. That wasn't a three, it was a two. But still, stuff like that. And right here, I just started falling apart at the end of the game. I could not make a single bucket. And he just kept making buckets. Now it's a three-point game with 38 seconds left. Now it's a one-point game with 21 seconds left. And right here, I was actually starting to get a little bit worried. But I knew I could get it to Ty Lawson, who is an excellent free throw shooter. And I tried to run out the clock as much as possible. But eventually, they're just going to catch up to you anyways. And I hit the first one. It was a little bit of an early release. And the second one, I make up for it with an A-plus release. And I make both. It's a three-point game now. And he passes it in to Marco Bellinelli, who is a great shooter, but he just doesn't make it that time. And I just kept taking the ball. Or not, yeah, taking it, tipping it out and taking it. And eventually, he has to foul me, and there's eight seconds left in the game. And I make it a four-point game. And I have one more free throw. Now it's a five point game with eight seconds left. It's not looking good for him, but it's looking good for me, which is what everyone here wants. And J.R. Smith, he tries the shot, it doesn't go well, but I took the free throws with JaVale McGee, didn't do so well on them, so they weren't in the video and they aren't very important. But that shot goes out. And this has been Prodigy3030. If you liked the video, please subscribe to see more from me in the future. And I'm out. See you guys later. Enjoy play of the game. I do this shit for hours. Make the city hours.